Andre Iguodala. Um, this is an interesting one because, you know, a lot of people think he's old and he may be over the hill. Um, he's 35 years old. He's been playing uh, since 2004. You know, he came in a year after LeBron. He actually played with Allen Iverson in Philadelphia. And you, you guys know what he's been doing lately. But for you young guys that don't know him, you know, Andre Iguodala is an all-star, man. You know, he was a really, really solid player. He was like a poor man's LeBron. Uh, very muscular, athletic. Um, you know, could do a little bit of everything. He's a he's like a jack of all trade, but a master of none. But the one thing he is a master of is winning championships and being a good locker room guy and being a uh, a glue guy, you know. And I think he'd be a good leader for the young players. Now, he got traded or released, and he's with the uh, Grizzlies now. And I think the Grizzlies are going to uh, release him and buy him out later on. But right now, Houston and the Clippers are trying to get him, you know. And Houston has to pay a high price to get him because what the Gri Grizzlies are saying is they want a first-round pick for him. You know, and he's a cap hit. You know, he's going to make $17 million, over $17 million next year. That's going to be a cap hit against the teams automatically as contract. And also that will put Houston $20 million over the cap if they pick him up. Now, is that worth it? Uh, for a 35-year-old Iguodala, I don't know. I think what I would do, because if the Clippers, I'm telling you now, if the Clippers or Houston get Iguodala, um, on paper, it may not seem like a big deal, but I'm telling you, in the locker room and late in games and stuff like that, he knows how to he knows how to win championships and how to do the little things to win the games. And he could teach uh, Russell Westbrook and James the uh, Houdini uh, Harden what to do in in late game situations. So I think that'll be a good pickup, but I don't think Houston's going to pay the price of you know going over the salary cap and um, you know giving up a first round pick. I think they'll just wait for the Memphis Grizzlies to buy him out because Memphis has to buy him out because they can't keep an aging guy like him on a brand new roster with, you know, Ja Morant and all these young guys. I mean, yeah, it'll be good if he could teach them, but they're in a completely different, uh, you know, age bracket than Andre Iguodala in, in stage of their career. So I think Houston will end up with Andre Iguodala, but Clippers are definitely in the run. But uh, I'm telling you right now, whoever gets Andre Iguodala is going to get a winner a uh, glue guy and a good guy to uh, help win championships. And I'm telling you right now, Andre Iguodala could be a difference maker for any team he goes to. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you agree with what I'm saying, hit the like button and tell me why. If you disagree with what I'm saying, hit the, dis hit the dislike button, tell me why. If you like my videos, please share them. Tell, them about, tell people about them. Like last night, I went and seen uh, Spider-Man. That was a good movie. Seen it again. Go see it. Tell people about it. Same thing. If you like something, you tell people about it. Tell people about the channel. But if you dislike my videos, you think my videos are stupid, get up out of here. Unsubscribe and don't tell anybody nothing. All right? Because you guys already know I don't give a damn. Holla at your boy. Peace.